Hey everyone, Ryan with GNG here at the 101 Tech USA Studios in City of Industry, California. I'm proudly showing you today the SGR556. Starting at the back, we have the GOS V8 stock, holds a massive amount of battery space. Moving forward, we have this full metal receiver, as well as a metal handguard that has M-lock slots at the three, six, and nine o'clock positions. On top of that, the hop-up adjustment is right at the end, right where the gas block is located. Why would it be on the front? Let's kind of break it down so you can kind of see a little bit more. All you have to do is remove rear pin, take the mag out, This is all the goodies right here. Split gearbox design. Nice thing about it is you have the upper part of the receiver and the lower part of the receiver are split apart. If you wanna work on the top half or this is the bottom half, the compression part or the gear part, it's easier to mess around with. On top of that, we have this. This right here is the upper portion of the G3 system that the SGR has introduced. Nice thing about this is that it does have a lock-in hop-up system, which is nice. It actually helps with the compression fairly well. I've noticed anywhere between two to five FPS variants within my shots. Taking this apart right here, this is fully upgradable for the inner barrel, the hop-up bucking and nub. So all those are upgradable. And this one right here kind of proves it. I have a bunch of lilacs parts installed into this one. Top of that right here, you see the upper section, the compression section. If you look right here, you'll notice that it has electronics right by the nozzle. The reason for that, it does have a lockout system. When it senses an absence of a BB, it will shut the whole system down, which makes this unique. It doesn't need a proprietary mag. It will shut off with any mag that you place in it. On top of that, a lot of the internal components like the compression systems are compatible, so they are upgradable if you so choose. I haven't found the reason for it, but you still have that option. On top of that, Quick change. If you wanna, on the fly, within 30 seconds, you can switch out. If you brought the wrong spring, if you're switching from indoor and outdoor, you can do that. Nice and easy. And assembling it, nice and simple. Here, click that in, bind it right there, and it drops right in. So, it doesn't just stop right there. With the G3 system, you will also get this. This is the controller to control all the features and functions for the system. If you notice from the top, you can switch it from full auto to burst to semi-auto, all with the click of a button. And it's nice and easy, all you have to do is press it. So if I bring it over, put it on safe, press here, now it's on semi-lock. Also, if you notice on the top, you will also see the mag cutoff. You can turn that mag cutoff if you're ever using different types of mags or having any issues, you can turn that auto lock out on and off as, as you choose. In order to re-engage it, all you have to do is hit the bolt release and it'll re-engage the system. You also can control the trigger sensitivity. You have three different levels of sensitivity. You have level one, put it on a hair trigger, or you can switch it over to right in the center And if you like it more towards the back end near the wall. Features don't stop there. The last one, if you can see on the bottom, is the pre-cocking. So all you have to do to activate that, is throw it on safe, hit the function, hit the pre-cocking button. Now you're ready. So I'm gonna switch it over to a hair trigger as well so you can kind of see you get a much faster response on the trigger. So this is my preferred setting for it when I'm using indoor, outdoor. Uh, I like to tune it depending on my situation as well. So this is very adjustable to whatever needs or whatever scenario that you're in. This is a very unique one in particular because this is the one that we're gonna be using with our training development unit. We've spent over 18 months to about two years working with different agencies, trying to fine tune, figure out exactly what type of accessories, what type of settings, everything that, that officers uh, as well as trainers would like to use in their training sessions. So the way I have this set up right now, we have a GT1 site set up. We have a vertical foregrip right here. 
We also have a 30 round mag to help with their training as well, as well as this muzzle flash tracer to help with CQC, CQB scenarios when trying to detect who's coming around the corner, what angle they're approaching from. So if you want any more details on that, check ggtdu.com for more information. So this right here is the overview of the SGR556 by G&G. &G.